Hello? 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 Hi, can you hear me now? Yes. We need to start our... Are yes. You... Hmm. Okay, let's start. Can you still remember what was our last topic? Can you still remember what was our last topic? Can you remember what was our last topic? It is a uh is reading and uh, type uh, and typing. Uh huh. Let's see. Now let's continue. 
so we are in reading and writing so now let's continue yes. okay for another activity part five um hello lee me i think i can hear some noise is that a sound uh, 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 what i can hear some noise you can hear me i can hear some noise Uh, I think it's okay now. All right, so here, look at the pictures okay. and read the story. Write words to complete the sentences about the story. You can use one, two, or three words. Are you ready to start? Uh, my rainbow must... <clears throat> My name's Tom, and I have a friend who's called. His was for me is a cup block. When he opens the cup block and and happy master, who is are the colors of the rainbow. I laugh at him and jump on his and jump on his back. He says, where do you want to go today, Tom? And I always say, you choose. Mm -hmm. Now, please read the example. Example, Rainbow Monster is Tom's friend. Tom finds his friend in the cup box when it rains. Mm -hmm. Now, please answer number one. The monster is... It was... Uh, the monster is big and uh, happy. The monster is big and happy. Okay, very good. The monster is big and happy and the colors of the rainbow. Now, please continue read the story. Uh, is he's a big and... Oh, last week we fell to a beautiful island. The weather was hot and sunny. I went swimming with pink dolphins. I ate moon, moon fruit, and in the evening, we dance on the beach under the stars. Then we went home because I was tired and hungry. Here, Rainbow Master said, when I went to bed, take this book. I found it to the island. Don't open it. It now open it in the morning. Mm -hmm. Now, please answer number three. Yes, our friends, though. So to the Iceland. Again, can I see it again? Tom and his mom 
friends flew to the island. Uh -huh. Tom and his monster friend flew to the island. How about number four? Uh, uh, there is one in the sea that's with some... Uh, with some pink dolphins. Dolphins, all right, very good. That, uh, that evening, they dance on the sand. Very good, number six. Then, Tom was tired and hungry, and they went home. Uh -huh, very good. And number seven. Before Tom went to sleep, the monsters gave him a box. Uh -huh, again, a box. A box. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, please. Now, you got the correct answer. Now, let's go into practice reading. Please repeat after me. Okay. Hold on. My name's Tom, and I have a friend who's called Rainbow Monster. My name's Tom, and I have a friend who's called Rainbow Monster. He waits for me in the cupboard when it rains. He waits for me in the cupboard when it rains. I open the cupboard and there he is. I open the cupboard. And that is, and that he is. He's a big and happy monster who is all the colors of the rainbow. He's a big and happy monster who is are uh, the colors of the rainbow. I laughed at him and jumped on his back. I laugh at him and jump on his bike. He says, where do you want to go today, Tom? He says, where do you want to go today, Tom? And I always say, you choose. And I always say, you choose. Rainbow Monster is Tom's friend. Rainbow Monster is Tom's friend. Tom finds his friend in the cupboard when it rains. Tom finds his friends in the cupboard when it rains. The monster is big and happy and the colors of the rainbow. The monster is big and happy in the colors of the rainbow. Last week, we flew to a beautiful island. Last week, we flew to a beautiful island. Again, it's not Iceland. It's island. Island. Very good. Again. Island. The weather was hot and sunny. The weather was hot and sunny. We went swimming with pink dolphins. With 
been a sweet thing. No, we it's... went. We went swimming with pink dolphins. We went swimming with pink dolphins. We ate moon fruit, and in the evening we danced on the beach under the stars. We ate, we ate moon fruit, and in the evening on the beach under the stars. Again, and in the evening we danced on the beach under the stars. Evening, we danced on the beach under the stars. Then we went home because I was tired and hungry. Then we went home because I was tired and hungry. Here, Rainbow Monster said. Here, Monster said. Then we went home because I was tired. Oh, sorry, hold on. When I went to when I went to bed. When I went to bed, take this box. Take this box. I found it on the island. I found it on the island. Don't open it now. Don't open it now. Open it in the morning. Open it in the morning. Tom and his monster friend flew to the island. Tom and his monster friend flew to the island. They swam in the sea there with some dolphins. We swam in the sea there with some pink dolphins. That evening they danced on the sand. That evening they danced on the sand. That, then Tom was tired and hungry and they went home. Then Tom was tired and hungry, and they went home. Before Tom went to sleep, the monster gave him a box. Before Tom went to sleep, the monster gave him a box. Okay, now please continue this. Okay. In the morning, I thought about my rainbow mask and the book. It was under my bed. I looked inside and found a moon fruit tree. It was a very small one. I carried it carefully outside and put it in my garden. When I'm sad, I always look at the moon fruit trees and then start smiling again. Okay, now. All right, now please answer number eight. Nine and ten. Okay. The bug was under Tom's bed. I'm sorry I didn't hear it clearly. Can you say it again? The bug was under Tom's bed. 
Uh huh. Very good. Number nine. Inside the book was a small fruit tree. Mm -hmm. The answer is inside the box was a moon fruit tree. Number 10. Tom Tom's goes to look at the trees when he's sad and then he is happy again. Very good. All right. Good job. Numbers. Very good. Now, again, let's practice reading. In the morning, I thought about my rainbow monster and the box. In the morning, I thought about my rainbow monsters and the box. It was under my bed. It was under my bed. I looked inside and found a moon fruit tree. I looked inside and found a moon fruit tree. It was a very small one. It was a very small one. I carried it carefully outside and put it in my garden. I carried it carefully outside and put it in my garden. When I'm sad, I always look at the moon fruit tree and then start smiling again. When I'm sad, I always look at the moon fruit trees and then start smiling again. All right. Again, the box was under Tom's bed. The box was under Tom's bed. Inside the box was a moon fruit tree. Inside the box was a moon fruit tree. Tom goes to look at the tree when he's sad and then he is happy again. Tom goes to look at the trees when he's sad and then he's happy again. Very good. Now we have another one, part six. Read the text and choose the right words and write them on the lines. So for this one, you have your choices here. So what I want you to do is to read this together with your answer. Yes. Mm. <coughs> Bus. Many different kinds of bad live in jungle. Most of them is fruit or fish. You do not often see bass because in the day they sleep. They always fly at night to find their food. Uh -huh, hold on, which one? This one or this one? Uh, number one. Mm -hmm, continue. Many people think they, many people think that bass cannot Cannot watch, but three bats have very good eyes. They can find fruits on the trees at night. Fruits but only have one baby. The mother carries her baby for eight weeks, and then it learns to fly. To fly. <laughs> Let's see. Many different kinds of bats live in the jungle. Most of them eat fruit or fish. You do not often see bats because in the day they sleep. 
They always fly at night to find their food. Many people think that bats cannot see, but fruit bats have very good eyes. They can find fruit on trees at night. Fruit bats only have one baby. The mother carries her baby for eight weeks and then it learns to fly. So very good to me, you got four correct answers. Good job. Have you seen a bat before? Have you seen a bat before? No. Do you think they are scary? Mm. Do you think they are Yes. Scary? <laughs> uh, it's, but one bat you don't carry, but very much bat is scary. Oh, okay. All right, so let's continue. Mm -hmm. We have, oh, no. So for our next book, we are going to have speaking. Okay. All right. Hold on. I say. Can you see it now? Yes. Picture number one is don't have a rainbow, it's have a sun. And the hippo in uh, the the hippo in picture one is is glass, but picture two is a flower. The picture two is have four and in the his head. But uh, which are one is three. The the girl is in the picture two is have a short hair. It in each uh, picture one is a straight is long hair. Mm -hmm. And uh, the girl is uh, wearing a green dress. Uh, and how about on the next in the air the girl is wearing green dress what about on the next girl but the girl in the picture once is wearing a, a purple dress mm -hmm. okay very good you got the answer yes. Yes, yes, yes. now let's talk about your home and family how many people are there in your family uh, is Is eight people. Mm -hmm. Eight people. And what do you do at home after school? Uh, I uh, I uh, have a uh, I watch TV and have a uh, dinner and yes. Who do you play with at home? Uh, uh, Sometimes is uh, usually it's in my uh, younger sister or my baby. Mm -hmm. And tell me about your favorite toy. Toy? Mm -hmm. 
But I don't have a favorite toy. Uh huh. You don't hmm. play toys anymore. Oh, it's Lego. I like plates Lego. Mm -hmm. And why do you like it? Uh, this is... Mm. Why do you like it? Be because I like build a home. Uh -huh. You like to build a home. That's good. Yes. Now we have pictures number one, two, three, and four. Now, can you tell a story about these pictures? Let's start in picture number one. Uh, you can uh, uh, is it is this black? I don't know what. Yes. Where? This is okay. Uh. Uh. Okay, Zinda. Uh. Yes. One one girl is a uh, one to play football with her friends, mm -hmm. mm, and uh, he's mm, oh, and uh, and uh, uh, and she's and and she uh, is. Uh, uh, settle, uh, settle, uh, her coat, uh, in the, in the, uh, in, uh, this, is this in, uh, under the park, uh, under the trees, and, and one woman is sees sees the girl is that uh hits her uh, court number two number two is the girl is uh, going to play a quick uh quick horse friend and one and one girl is wearing uh, the same a coat is sees uh, to see to see uh, um, to see the girl and friend and uh, her friends play a football. Number three is the uh, uh, the girl eating uh, was a uh, the girl is saying hmm. the girl she eating the girl with black hair is take her coat. Number four is the woman is take her coat. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh, very good. Very good. How about you? Have you experienced this before? No. <laughs> Not yet. All right. So we have another one. I think this is the last activity for speaking. You have to find a different one. So we have number one, two, three, and four. Each number there is different. So you have to find it and tell me why is it different. Uh, number one is the book, because the book is uh, one thing. It don't is a fluid. 
number two number two is uh, a girl is oh, number two is three because uh, number one, number two, and number four is reading one thing, but number two is playing with uh, the ball. Mm -hmm. Number three is hmm, is a girl with number one because uh, number two and number three and number four is uh is yeah is conquer to water mm, or wet water. or you can say wet okay mm -hmm. Good job. Number four. Mm. It's the uh, number four. Picture one, picture two, and picture three is e human. But picture two is animals. Okay, let's see if you got the correct answer. Number one, it's a book. Very good. Number two, it's the girl playing. Number three, the correct answer is the dog Dika, and number four it's the panda they have the same explanation panda and dogs are animals okay did you understand yes mm -hmm. all right very good now let's oh see. yes okay now let's continue so we are already done in speaking so we are now moving forward to the last activity for unit 24 which is writing okay hold on let's say this all right can you please read this Can you please read this? Hello? Outdoor activities. Mm -hmm. Outdoor activities. Outdoor activities. Very good. Now we have two choices here choose and write the sentence to complete the story so we have the for, first one he is carrying a cane too and i have a small backpack now can you please read this with your chosen answer mm. My dad and I going hiking today. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, are going to the mountains. My dad is wearing hiking boots. He is carrying two cans too. I wearing long pants. I am wearing a sun hat. I have a small backpack. The air is fresh and clean. The weather is great too. Very good. But let's practice reading again. My dad and I are going hiking today. My dad and I are going hiking today. We are going to the mountain. We are going to the mountain. My dad is wearing hiking boots. My dad is wearing hiking boots. He is carrying a cane too. He is carrying a cane too. I am wearing long pants. I am carry I am wearing long pants. I am wearing a sun hat. 
I am wearing a sun hat. I have a small backpack. I have a small backpack. The air is fresh and clean. The air is fresh and clean. The weather is great too. That's true. Mm -hmm. How about you, me? Do you like hiking? Yes. Oh, have you? And um, isn't it hard to go hiking? I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. So, me, since it's already our time, we have to end it here. And we are just going to continue on Sunday. Okay. Thank you so much for tonight and see you again. Good night. Good night. Bye. -bye.